In this video, you are going to learn how to open Snapchat pixels and connect with website using GTM. Hi, you are welcome to this video. My name is Nasim and I am a top rated freelancer. I love to share my experience and teach people how to build all digital skills and make money from home. So if you want to stay up to date, then consider subscribing to this channel. I think you will never be disappointed. Let's get back to this topic. First of all, open your browser and go on business.snapchat.com and open your account. My account is already opened. So that's why I am seeing this like of interface. So you have to log in first and then go to pixel and then set up pixel and give a name here that you like. It's nothing important. I am giving my name and click on next and then you will see the pixel is created and you can see on the top this is our pixel code and if you want to set it up then you have to go on set it up and then pixel setting and then you can see this is the total pixel code you have to copy this code and input in your backend also you can check the snapshot account documentation then you will learn more just search on google snapshot developer documentation or pixel documentation you will find this link and you can see all the details in here like the event name event parameter and what the important everything you will find now i want to connect this pixel with my website using google tag manager so if i want to use google tag manager and use snapshot pixel setup then i have to go on the google tag manager and i have to open new account so go to tag manager.google.com and open tag manager so this is my brand new gmail and here is no account setup so that's why first of all i have to open account so i am going to create account and i am going to input my website name here so that will help me to understand for this account for this website so i am going to web container and check mark i read and then create and then you can see your account will be ready and your container also will be ready and you will see your gtm code up here and here you can see this is the gtm code and you have to implement this code of this website backend so i am going to open this website backend and i am going to my appearance and then theme editor and simply you can see this dashboard and you have to find header.php and of course this code you have to implement under the header so head just i am implementing here and you don't please don't uh, change anything else from here because it's very complicated that save this file and back from here so this file is saving and it's already saved and let's uh, you have to uh, do another uh, thing that if you want to use plugin you will see gtm for wordpress plugin and we implement this short code only simply you can use this short code and implement here and save changes and your website and google tag manager will be connected successfully then for checking purpose you have to go on the gtm preview and then you have to implement your website here and then connect and here you can see website is going to connect and it's uh yeah here it is it's already connected so if i go on the product page and then you will see all the event are coming here so the 
also i am seeing the product data layer so everything is working fine so now it's time to make the tag for snapchat pixel so here is the two option that you can use you can use the full code and or you can use the short code so the two option is already here in the tag manager like uh, if you want to use short code you have to use template like i am going to search a template if you can't see here you have to implement the template but also if you want to use this full code you have to use the custom html because it's a custom html so you can see i am going to tag manager and i am implementing this custom html and it of course you will it will be all page and then save changes so this is the option and all another option that have uh, which is the template so you can't see here so then you have to go on browser and discover new template just uh, go on their search page for uh, template and search here snapchat and then you can see with uh, the two template just add the snapchat template and add here and you can see here is the option to use snapchat pixel like you can now you can use only short code for connecting your snapchat with your website just implement here this is your snapchat account uh, pixel and then you have to select the trigger and trigger will be all page so just uh, save this name and it's you, you, you can use any name here like snapchat for all page snapchat connection i am uh, using my name and that's it and after that you have to publish it and then your snapchat and your website will be connected successfully and you can see our tag manager new version is live now and now it's time to check so go on the preview mode again and then uh, you can see your website is opening and it's connected and if i go uh, and here it's a uh, extension that i'm using from chrome extension for synapsat pixel and you can see uh, here is uh, connected our pixel is connected successfully with our website if you don't understand any part of this video or if you have any suggestion please do comment i will really appreciate it and if you need my help that I am providing as a freelancer, feel free to contact me. I would love to work with you. You can visit my website. So that's all for today. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give thumbs up because it helps me to continue working on this channel. And if you want to stay up to date, then subscribe to this channel. And I will see you on the next video. Till then, bye. Have a good day.